A question commonly addressed in the Haas Service Department is, what is the proper way to remove and replace the chuck on my Haas lathe? Today, Andrew will review the important aspects of removing and reinstalling the 10-inch chuck on this Haas ST30SSY. And as we proceed through the steps, we'll also answer several specific Haas Answer Man questions that our service department received regarding this process. William Kramer of Irvine, California submitted the following question to the answer man. I'm trying to unwind the draw nut on the chuck on my ST20. I'm not sure why, but it seems really tight. I don't want to damage anything. Any suggestions? Let's watch how Andrew addresses this issue. Before turning any screws, Andrew unclamps the chuck and e-stops the machine when the chuck has reached the middle of master jaw travel. This places the draw nut in an unbound position. Now the nut can be loosened without damaging the threads. Andrew removes two of the three top jaw assemblies, leaving the other top jaw in place, and uses a large adjustable wrench to grab the jaw. Andrew loosens the six screws that connect the chuck body to the adapter plate, but he doesn't remove the screws yet. Take care not to pinch your fingers between the wrench and the surrounding machine surfaces. Andrew removes the last top jaw assembly and also the chip cover from the chuck center bore. Next, he attaches a lifting eye bolt to the chuck. And in this case, Andrew brings a rolling lift into position and attaches the hoist's lift hook to the eye bolt. Tension the lifting hook so that some of the chuck weight is taken up by the hoist. This will minimize the load on the draw nut as it is rotated away from the draw tube. Randall Faustenberger from Alberta, Canada was concerned about the best way to detach the draw nut. Dear Answer Man, In the past, I have damaged the draw nut threads while removing a chuck from my machine. Please help me out with the best way to do this. Thanks. The key is to generate enough tension with the hoist to suspend the weight of the chuck body so it is not bearing down or pulling up on the draw tube. This will allow the draw nut to unscrew easily and pull away from the threads without risking damage. Remove the six chuck mounting screws and set aside. With suitable tension lifting the chuck body, Andrew unscrews the draw nut counterclockwise from the threaded end of the draw tube the nut should loosen by hand. If the nut is especially tight, do not force it. If the nut is not unscrewing easily, it means the hoist is either exerting too little tension or too much tension. Adjust the hoist until the nut rotates by hand. When the nut rotates easily, this is your indication the chuck is suspended at the correct height. Attempting to unscrew the nut while it is bound will damage the draw tube and draw nut. These are expensive and labor-intensive items to replace. Andrew unscrews it until he nears the end, then he hesitates and checks to see how far he still has to go. He's particularly careful to disengage the nut without damaging the threads. Andrew carefully rolls the lift away from the machine, brings the chuck to the workbench, and lowers it onto the tabletop. He tilts the chuck body over to rest on its front face. 